2.8 million years ago, deep in the heart of Africa, the first hominids awakened to a world, a sound, simple and raw, a signal of presence. Not yet language, but a spark of intention. Each echo builds a bridge. Sound begins to mean something beyond instinct. Through sound and motion, the hominids find unity. Survival hums with new melody. Before words, gestures spoke volumes, a silent grammar written in motion. A warning call pierces the air. Meaning emerges from urgency. Fear demands communication, the oldest language of all. Tools and thought evolve together, say, each sound now tied to action. Rhythm becomes message, Azor, a shared heartbeat through sound. Their voices return to them, teaching them that sound can travel and return. From care comes melody, emotion carried in tone before any word was born. Even in fading light, the hominid voice grows hand. A tool for memory, for teaching. Mistakes become lessons, and lessons become culture. Their minds stretch outward. Sound joined by symbol, gesture by pattern. They listen to themselves, learning that sound belongs to them. Strategy is born. Sounds become signals, survival through cooperation. Joy finds voice. The first celebration maimed in. Sound not of fear, but triumph. Language begins to be taught. The chain of thought passed between generations. In every pause lies wonder on antique. The awareness that meaning can grow. From grunts to rhythm, from silence to signal a tang, the hominids step into the age of expression. Dawn breaks, and with it, a growing comfort in sound, clear, the hum of belonging. A simple sound is given to an object, the first hint of naming. Imitation becomes play, the ancient seed of learning through mimicry. Sound becomes feeling, logic, a primitive empathy born through tone. Memory finds form, the first stories told without words. Nature's rhythm teaches pattern theory. Sound and meaning shaped by storm. Signals sharpen, the first deliberate alarm shared by choice. From rhythm grows ritual fame. Sound becomes identity. Coordination through sound, the praying, the birth of strategy made audible. Speech becomes practice, repetition refining creation. Conflict creates order and sound begins to mediate emotion. Repetition becomes tradition, the first human lessons spoken through sound. Play becomes innovation, the roots of creativity through voice. Listening emerges, the other half of language's heart. The world answers, sound traveling farther than sight. Gesture and voice fuse, communication becomes layered. Loss gives depth to sound. <gasps> The first cries of emotion beyond fear. Through imitation, understanding blooms, learning to shape another's sound. 
Repetition builds memory, the rhythm of language forming roots. Daylight fades, but their voices endure, the hominids now bound by sound and meaning. Another dawn clean, another chance for sound to stretch further than survival. Pattern becomes thought, Ubi, the mind rehearsing meaning. Voice and motion unite a day, the blueprint of speech. For the first time, air carries intention. Harmony emerges, unity expressed through vibration. Pitch becomes symbol, tone shaping the earliest emotion words. <laughs> Laughter hern, the bridge between noise and meaning. A shared sound, not for warning, but belonging. The birth of we. Sound finds partner in pattern, memory etched upon earth. Recognition takes hold, phonon, a call that now carries meaning. Recognition takes hold, phonon, a call that now carries meaning. Affection shapes sound, the earliest syllables of care. Imagination enters speech on team. Practice becomes storytelling. Signals evolve, Fay. Precision born from necessity. Naming begins, the first vocabulary of survival. Rhythm unites tribe and thought well, the cadence of memory forming. Song emerges, emotion given wings through sound. Creation enters voice and that, the first spark of language's evolution. Decision through dialogue, the earliest democracy of sound. Decision through dialogue, the earliest democracy of sound. Even silence now holds meaning. The pause that shapes thought. From whisper to word, from instinct to idea, Thurman, the hominid voice has awakened and humanity begins to speak.